Hi, I'm Katie from Barn2 Media. This is a tutorial on how to list WooCommerce products in a directory just like this one. I'm going to show you how to present your directory products in a table like this, which you might want to do to create any sort of product directory. As you can see, I've used it for a book directory. You can have a music directory, possibly with embedded audio players within the directory listings. Um, you might have um, other sorts of product directory, a directory of um, spare parts. So there's all sorts of reasons why you might want to use a directory structure to present your products. The directory is going to have any sort of columns of information that you want. You can display various types of data about your products, all from this single directory listings page. If you want, then your customers can click through to the single product page to read more information, or you can disable that so that people just remain on the directory page. Um, you can add different types of add to cart buttons, so you could have multi-select and um, add them all to the cart at once. It supports product variation, so you can see here that you can choose between a paperback or an ebook format and then add to the cart. Um, and you can also allow your customers to source and filter the table to find the products in the directory more easily. So you can sort by price or whichever column. Um, you can have filters to allow people to narrow down the list to quickly find specific products. Um, you can, they can choose how many rows display on each page. They can do a search and that sort of thing. So let's get started. To, before you do this tutorial, you should have a WordPress website with WooCommerce already installed. Um, there's a nice easy setup wizard on how to install WooCommerce. So I'm assuming that you've already done that. So you've got WordPress, you've got WooCommerce and you're ready to go. We will start off by adding a product. So I'm going to go add product. Um, this is just a normal product in WooCommerce. So if you've already got products, that's fine. You can just skip this bit and um, use the directory plugin I'm going to tell you about in a minute to display your product. So I'm just going to create a product quickly now. I'll put the description in. Select the category. This is all standard WooCommerce stuff. I'm going to add a price. I'm going to go to the short description, add that as well. You can add whatever fields you want. Um, you can also create custom product data using custom fields and taxonomies. So if you wanted to display something like, I don't know, if it was a book directory, it might be the year, then you could create a custom taxonomy and use that in your directory. Um, the knowledge base for the plugin we're going to use will contain more information about all of that sort of thing. And I'm going to use tags, product tags, to display the author. So if we go back to the directory, you can see I've got an author column. I've actually achieved that using tags here. So I'm going to write the author there. And so that's just a normal way of tagging a product and displaying that in the directory. If you wanted to do lots of different types of sourcing, such as author and year, then you might want to use custom taxonomies instead, which work in a very similar way. Um, so um, use the knowledge base if you want to do that. So for now, we've added the main information about the product. I'm just going to add an image as well. You can display images in your directory. So that's one I've already uploaded. And I'm going to publish my product. So do that, follow that exact process, just products, add product for as many um, as you want to list in your directory. Now, if you're creating a new website and you have a lot of products that you want to add, which I know a lot of directory sites do, then there are various bulk import plugins that you can use, such as the official, um, I think it's called product WooCommerce CSV import plugin that WooCommerce.com sell. So the methods used in this directory will work with any type of WooCommerce product import plugin. So either add your plugins manually as I've done or import them using another plugin and then you're ready to display them in the directory structure. To create the structure that we've seen here, you need a plugin called WooCommerce Product Table, which is one of our plugins at Barn2 Media. So you need to get the plugin from our website and I'll put up a link over this video and then install it in the usual way from plugins as new. And you can see that I've already got that installed on my website 
along with WooCommerce. So you can ignore everything else in the list on my site. These are the two plugins that you need to create your WooCommerce directory listings. So you've got WooCommerce and WooCommerce product table. So once you've installed WooCommerce product table, you want to go to the settings page where there's a link on the plugins page and you need to enter your license key. You'll receive the license key with your email confirmation when you get the plugin and you need that in order for the plugin to work. So add your license key and click save changes and the next step is to create a product table which will display your products in a directory format. We're going to do that by adding it to a normal page. So we will go to pages, add new, and I'm going to call it book directory. Um, so it's just a normal WordPress page. And what you need to do is add a short code to it. This short code is provided by the WooCommerce product table plugin. So you open square brackets and then you write product underscore table. And that will, you can just close the brackets there and that will just create a table listing all your products. So you could just try that and see what it looks like. But I'm gonna add some more information which is specific to a product directory. So because I've got other types of product on my website, I'm going to tell it to display a specific category. If you just want to list all your products in the same directory, then you can ignore this bit. But to display products from a specific category, you want to write category equals, and then within quotation marks, the category slug or ID. And I know that my category ID is 144, and I got that from um, going to the products categories page. And um, if you hover over the view category link, you can find the ID number hidden within the URL for that link. So that's how I got hold of that number, but you don't have to display a specific category. That's just useful if, for example, you want to add different directory listings pages throughout your site, maybe displaying different categories. Um, and if you look at the knowledge base, there are also options for displaying specific um, tags. So maybe if you were using tags for your author, then you could create a table that just lists uh, products or books from a specific author, for example, and various other things like you can display specific custom taxonomy terms, specific custom fields. So you can create directory pages that just list a specific type of product on your site. Um, then I'm just going to display from this category at the moment. The next thing we want to do is tell the directory which columns we want to display. So to do that, we're going to write columns equals, and then within quotation marks, we need to list the columns that we want with a comma between them. And um, you'll need to use the knowledge base to look at what columns are available for your directory and um, use the correct wording. So what I want is image to show a small thumbnail of each product in the directory. I want the product name, which is name. I want the short description, which um, you add to the bottom of the product page when you create your product. You could display the long description, which is just called description, um, but I'm going to display the short description. Uh, you, I'm going to have the price. I also want tags, uh, because you saw that I was using tags to display the author. Uh, but I don't want it to say tags. Um, you can customize the column headings with this plugin. And to do that, all you do is write a colon and then type what you want to call it. So I'm going to go tags, colon, and then author. And that's going to list my tags in a column, but it's going to call that column author. And finally, I want to create an add to cart column, which is add, slash, add hyphen to hyphen cart. And then I close my quotation marks and close the square brackets. So that is my short code that I'm going to use initially to display my products in the directory. So we will click publish. And then I'm going to view the page. So here's my page. I forgot to make it full width, so I'll do that in a minute. But for now, you can see that I've got all the columns I want. It's renamed the tag column to author, so it lists the tags or authors for each product. I've got the add to cart buttons, and it also has some standard searching features such as the keyword search and how many products display per page. So next we're gonna just configure it a little bit. 
So for example, you can see that on some of my products, it says select options instead of add to cart. Now, I know that that's because these are variable products um, instead of standard product, simple products. So most of them are just simple products within WooCommerce and they just have one price and you can add them straight to the cart. If you are using variable products, then they will display with a price range if you're using a price column and the add to cart button will say select options. So if I click on one of them, you can see that that would take me to the single product page where I can select a variation and add it to the cart. So what I want to do is display the variations directly within the directory so that people can select them and add to cart without going through to the single product page. Let's go back to our short code and do that now. And while we're there, I'm just going to make my page full width so that you can see it better next time. To display variations, we're going to write variations equals, and then within quotation marks, true. And let's update the page. Now it's got variations equals true and see how that changes the page. So I'm just going to refresh my directory. Now, as you can see, it's full width now, which um, you'll have to see if your theme has a full width layout, if that's what you want. And I've also got a change down here, which is the format um, drop down. Format is the name of my product variation. Paper book and ebook are the choices that I've given my customers. So you can choose a variation and you can see it changes the price underneath the add to cart button. And then you can add to cart there. And I've got that for all my different variable products, while the simple products that just have the one price are not affected by this. So if you want to use variations in that way, you can do. Now, finally, I'm going to show you how to add filters above the table. And to do that, we go back to the short code and add filters equals. And now you can either write true like this, or if you're using um, if you only want some filters to appear, so for example, you don't want your categories to appear as a filter, you just want your tags to, then you can specify exactly which filters you want to appear. So I just want my tags to appear because that's all I'm using here. So I've written filters equals tags, and I'm going to click update again and just show you what that looks like. And there we have at the top a filter for author. So you can choose the author. Um, it, the reason it says author there is it's taken my column name. So that's how it knows to call it author instead of tags. So you can select books, um, filter for, for them based on their author. Now, there's a lot you can do with your directory on top of this. You can change which columns appear. You can change how your add to cart buttons behave with multi-select and so on. You can show, hide or move these different elements above the table. Um, there's lots and lots of different options. So have a look through the knowledge base and start planning how you can create your directory exactly how you want it. To get WooCommerce product table, you need to go to our website, barn2.co.uk, and it comes with full support from um, us at Barn2 Media. So get in touch if you have any questions about whether it's suitable for you or if you need any help setting it up. Thanks for watching.